Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks and what we have right here is the new Gigabyte Bricks Pro. This is actually not a real mobile device, so it's not a tablet or whatever, but as you can see on the bag, on the packaging already, uh, it is an ultra compact PC kit. That's what uh, Gigabyte calls it. And they've built this in cooperation with Intel, trying to like revive the PC sector by building high performance, uh, professional performance, as it says on the packaging, um, super compact form factor PCs, basically. And what we're going to do today is unbox the device and I'll show you it booting up and just to demonstrate the performance. Uh, we're going to do some video rendering in Cyberlink PowerDirector using the hardware accelerated rendering stuff. Uh, do some benchmarking on the Intel SSD that's in there and I'm just going to generally show you around the device and de try to demonstrate why the PC itself is not dead yet, not even the desktop PC because these kinds of devices are going to get more and more common. And yeah, let's start by unboxing the Gigabyte Bricks Pro. So it comes in this uh, pretty compact box already, but when you open it up, it turns out it's even smaller. So just to give you a quick size comparison, I'll have my uh, Moto G right here. I'll put that on the box, so basically it's just a bit taller than the, Giga, uh, than the Moto G. And that just goes to show how compact the box itself already is. So that would be something that Shuttle has as their full PC or your standard desktop is probably like maybe like five or six times the size of this so uh, you get this box right here I'm just gonna pull off the packaging right there and there we go we lift this off and right here we have the licensing stuff from Microsoft for the Windows version that's installed on this and this already is actually the Gigabyte Bricks Pro. So it's so tiny when I opened it up I was actually surprised how small it is. I've seen the device before at trade shows and stuff and the, my colleagues at Mobile Geeks actually had this as their rendering device at CES this year also uh, on a loan from Gigabyte and I'm just gonna quickly pull it out of this bag right here and there you go. That's it. That's the Gigabyte Bricks, Bricks Pro already. Um, the casing is probably like 12 centimeters long and wide, so it's pretty square. Uh, the height is, I would guess, under 10 centimeters. That's maybe like 8 or 9 centimeters tall. Um, so it's really a, a super compact device. But I'll put that to the side for a second and check out what else is in the box. So when you've gotten the Bricks Pro itself out of the box, you'll just lift this part off. And down here we have a couple of screws because there is a Visa mount included in the packaging. Put the screws to the side. <coughs> actually, these are the screws for the Visa, uh, Visa mount, so you can actually put this on the back of your uh, TV, for example, to have it work as an HTPC or just a compact <coughs> entertainment system or even if you're using it as a desktop, just put this on the back of your TV and or your um, monitor. Those are the drivers. This is the Visa uh, mounting plate. And this is just a quick installation guide for setting it up because this actually comes as a, a bare bones system. So there's no SSD, SSD in there, no RAM installed. Um, but this guide actually tells you how to get the SSD in there. It fits a standard 2.5 inch um, SSD, but there's also room for a mini PCIe uh, MSATA SSD also. <coughs> and I think there's even room for uh, PCIe uh, connected SSDs. So you can have up to maybe like two, you can at least have two SSDs in there, but there's also, I guess there's room for even three, but I can't really tell you about that right now. And let's dig further down. And as you can see right there, well, you can't see because the lighting is not optimal. 
here goes the power brick. So this is actually a 135 watt power brick that has a connector just like your standard bigger sized notebook. It's pretty compact but it feels actually pretty big for a tiny device like this but it already tells you how powerful the Gigabyte Prix Pro is because this tiny PC actually has a quad core Intel Core i7 desktop CPU that goes up to 3.9 gigahertz on Turbo Boost but I'll talk about that later let me just quickly get this guy out of its out of the box so that's the standard uh, power connector cable with its three heads right here just as you know from other notebooks for example this is actually in US version they sent me so we have the standard connector for the US market and that's pretty much it so that is my quick unboxing of the Gigabyte Prix Pro and here we have the device itself let me just have my camera zoom in and get this focused in a better way um, I'm just gonna quickly rip off the foil so it comes in this pretty glossy um, full metal casing so the casing also helps it get the super high-end or pretty high-end um, Core i7 uh, to keep it cool actually <clears throat> because this guy actually has an Intel Core i7 4770R quad-core CPU in there it's Haswell based that runs at 2.3 you know, 3.2 gigahertz standard uh, speed but using turbo boost it can go up to actually 3.9 gigahertz so you have a 3.9 gigahertz CPU in this 12 by 12 or whatever just around 12 by 12 it's I think it's even smaller than a standard CD um, casing it's as I said full metal casing we have the standard Iris Pro graphics on here so it's actually an Iris Pro 5000 graphics part I think in the Intel Core i7 4770R and this guy actually has 8 gigs of RAM right now it can take up to 16 gigabytes of um, RAM and you can have a 2.5 inch SSD or HDD installed this thing right now has a 250 gig 240 gig SSD from Intel I think it's a 5, 530 series uh, part uh, the device in barebone uh, configuration just as you would buy it from your retailer uh, retails in Germany right now for 599 euros I think there's a couple of dealers that are actually selling it for more in the US it should be basically around the same pricing you add in an SSD for a hundred or maybe 200 euros uh, the, so the pricing including the RAM and everything would probably be around uh, 800 euros which is quite a lot for a tiny device like this but you actually also get a lot um, let me just quickly show you around the device so we have two USB 3.0 ports on the front already you have an optical out so this is SPDIF sound line out and even an optical port these are big fan vents right here that Gigabyte has integrated move around to the side you can actually see the big heatsink that's in there um, comes in this it is kind of a metallic look gray they have applied right here and let's move on to the back so again big fan vents to get this high-end Core i7 cooled and right here we have a Kensington lock so you can actually lock it up to your like fix it fix it to a table or whatever so it doesn't get stolen this right here is the power port where you put your PSU right next to that is full-size HDMI out this is a display port Ethernet port and another two USB 3.0 ports on the other side again more vents and yeah that's basically it and yeah in the next parts of the video I'm probably gonna open it up but let's just not forget about the power button right here so that's where you actually start the device uh, what I can already tell you is this guy boots up so fast it's really amazing the whole system is right now running uh, Windows 8.1 64-bit and this guy boots up within 
about five seconds from pressing the power button to the full Windows 8 desktop. So now the Gigabyte Bricks Pro is connected to my desktop monitor and I have a Tegra Note right here. And what we're going to do right now is just check out the boot up time. So this is a cold boot. The device is totally switched off and let's hit it. Takes a bit of time till the boot stuff shows up. That bar underneath the screen is actually because it doesn't can't cope with the higher resolution on the screen and there you go. That was a boot within well, I'd say about 11 seconds to the window start screen until it's fully loaded. It's probably just about 15 seconds. And what we're going to do right now is do a quick reboot. So just let me reset my counter here. And off we go. Shutting down. And it should take just about the same time to get the device back up and running. And there we are on the desktop. So that was about maybe like 10 seconds to shut down and another 15 to actually boot it back up. Um, wake up times from standby are actually, or for sleep mode, are actually a bit shorter, I think. So let's try that out. Device is sleeping right now. And I'm going to reset the timer again. Oops. Let me try that again. And let's go. So there we are again. I need to lock in right here basically takes just about five seconds to wake up from standby. So one of the reasons why we at Mobile Geeks like the Gigabyte Bricks Pro is actually its amazing rendering power, or not amazing, but basically it gives you all the power of a full-fledged full um, desktop PC uh, in a super compact form factor. So we sometimes take it along on business trips to uh, trade shows like CS, Computex, CBIT, or IFA. And we use it as a rendering machine stationary at the hotel rooms or wherever the office is at, at the show. And that's why I want to show you how this thing does in rendering. So I have a 1.5 gigabyte file I, of a, it's a hands-on video or an unboxing video of the new HTC One M8. I did at the London event. And what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to produce it in Cyberlink PowerDirector, which uses the Intel QuickSync technology, which in turn is using the um, integrated Intel Iris Pro 5200 graphics part on the Core i7-4770R in this Gigabyte Bricks Pro to render hardware accelerated. And this will be a full HD 10, 16 megabit uh, MPEG-4 file that is produced right here and yeah let's get going and I'm gonna again time this with the um, with the Tegra Note I have right here so let's get started and it should take just above a minute maybe like a minute and 20 seconds or something f to render this file that actually has a length of seven minutes and a bit so you have a rendering time of uh, 7 to 1, which is amazing for a device this compact. Again, using this desktop class quad core at 3.9 gigahertz. Um, one thing that has to be remembered on the Gigabyte Bricks Pro, though, is that because it's such a compact PC, and it'll actually have problems getting this 65 watts of uh, heat dissipation of the Core i7 that's in here out of the small 10 by 10 centimeter box. So sometimes the big vent that's in there or the fan in there will actually start blasting way ahead. I mean, I don't know if you can hear that, but it really starts um, turning up the fan. A 
I think you should be able to hear that. Hear that. So this took just about one minute and 20 seconds to render this, this seven minute file. So that's basically a ratio of close to uh, seven to one. And as you can still hear, the Gigabyte Bricks Pro is still blasting along on the fan there to actually cool down the CPU again. Um, it'll, s it'll slow down the fan right away after you've done uh, rendering, so it'll be quiet again. So on normal office tasks, that shouldn't be a problem at all. So uh, only when rendering or playing games or other using other apps that are really uh, taxing the CPU right there. Uh, so yeah, this has been my quick uh, rendering test on the Gigabyte Bricks Pro. So after checking out the boot up times and stuff, um, I wanted, wanted to show you how to upgrade the Gigabyte Bricks Pro because this thing is actually coming in as a bare bone in Germany. This one is already installed with 8 gigs of RAM and an Intel 525 series mini PCIe or mSATA SSD, I guess it's mSATA. Um, so all you have to do is basically open up the screws on the bottom, so there's those four screws right there. In this case, you have to break the seal because it's been a retail package. Um, in Europe, that shouldn't, be, um, shouldn't have to be done because, um, as I said, it's coming in as a bare bone, so it's probably not sealed. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly open this guy up. After opening up the Gigabyte Bricks, all you got to do is basically grab this little thing right here and you can lift off the base plate. And there you already go. That's basically just the dock or the port for your 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD. Um, the way you're going to do it is basically you're just going to slide this um, the other way around. You're just going to slide this in right here and then you have this connector right here. Connect this and then you'll just drop it on here. Um, as we've opened up the device already, just let's just take a quick peek inside. So right here we have the mSATA SSD from Intel. Underneath that is actually the Wi-Fi card that's installed. So we have a combined um, SSD slot right there and another uh, mini PCIe half-sized card slot for your Wi-Fi card. And these are the two RAM bars. So in this case, we have two four gigabyte Kingston RAM bars installed. You can have up to 16 gigabytes in here. So in the end, the Gigabyte Bricks Pro will end up being a super powerful and very well equipped, but tiny machine. Uh, so after you've installed the SSD, you can just put in the screws right here. There's the mounting holes on both sides of the device and then you just kind of throw this in here, power it up and then you're ready to go. So now that I've shown you the Gigabyte Bricks Pro and what it can do is um, all I have to say is actually that Intel and Gigabyte and all the other hardware manufacturers are actually really up to something on the concept of shrinking the PC to a very very tiny format. Uh, there's even smaller versions of this where you can't install an SSD um, but in this case I think it's the most perfect uh, combination of all uh, the things that the companies have come up with uh, because there's extensibility you can install your own hard drive uh, there's room for an SSD uh, or a normal hard drive there's also the mSATA or mini PCIe slots where you can extend the storage so you can combine super fast SSD with uh, traditional storage for, well, storage or capacity actually. So you'll end up with whatever, for example, a 256 gigabyte SSD combined with a two gig, uh, two terabyte hard drive. You have lots of storage, lots of power, lots of RAM in a super small package. As I said, this thing is only 12 by 12 centimeters big. It is very mobile. You can actually carry it anywhere. You can mount it on the back of your TV or your monitor. Um, the only gripe I have about this is they should have more uh, ports in there, so you probably would be better off if you had a couple of more USB ports. Um, 
Another thing is they should put in an eSIDA port for extensibility, uh, but that's not really necessary. And the only other big issue I have with this is actually the cooling problems that this has because uh, when you're really taxing the device and you're always doing stuff that is really using all the uh, power that's in there because again we're talking about a Core i7-4770R in here that goes up to 3.9 gigahertz uh, it will get really loud or um, it can get kind of annoying but if you have music playing or whatever that shouldn't disturb you or but if you were really um, if you have a problem with noise you shouldn't get this but if that's all right with you or you do office stuff and you just basically from time to time uh, do work uh, with the device that is uh, more taxing uh, that should be fine and for us it's great because it has all the power that we need in a super compact package and just to give you a quick last look around the device um, it is definitely an awesome combination of what's possible today in hardware or in desktop, uh, mini desktop building. So this has been my quick review of the Gigabyte Bricks Pro and I was rolling with Mobile Geeks. See you later. Bye.